Hi, this is Heather Havenwood, and today we are actually on Google Hangout with Mr. John Carlton. John, how are you? Hi, Heather. I'm doing fine. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well, and so hey, I'm in Austin, Texas, and you're in Reno, Nevada, and we're on the call today. I just kind of want to hang out with you and talk to you about your coming to the upcoming event we're having in Las Vegas, the Success Magnet Seminar, and I'm just I'm just excited that you're going to be there. I've never actually been on stage with you, which I'm very excited about, and there's some other big names that are going to be on there, so just name those guys. It's John Benson, yourself, John Carlton, Joe Sugarman, Joe Polish, Chris Giro, myself, and Kimberly Seltzer. So we have the John Joe John John Joe show. Maybe I should change my name to something. Should I change my name to Joey or Danny or I don't know. Yeah, so I'm just really excited that you're coming. And you know, you don't you get a lot of speaking requests. You don't need a speaking gig. As, as a, I, I know that for sure. So you know, why are you doing this very unique event here coming up in Vegas? Well, first of all, as soon as I heard about it, I was in. Um, uh, Joe sent me an email, asked me to do it. The last time I saw Joe was actually in Austin. It was at another event, and he spoke. Both of us are kind of on our farewell tours, of, you know, long drug out farewell tours. But I am speaking less and less, and uh, I know that Joe is doing it. So uh, for me, just the chance to get to hang out with Joe is uh, something I jump on every single time. Uh, he has done me a number of favors over the year, over, over, over the years, and I I didn't hesitate for a heartbeat when he asked me to come and speak at this event. Um, Joe has been a was a legend way back before I even started my career. He was well known. He was one of the first guys doing any of this direct response stuff. And this it, back in the late seventies, I bought my first direct response product from an ad that Joe wrote in Rolling Stone magazine. I think it was an ion generator. A bunch of us in an office in an art department in Silicon Valley where I was working, we didn't know what ions were. We didn't know what an ion generator was. We didn't understand any of the concepts he was talking about. But it was this air cleaner thing, and it, and he wrote such compelling copy that we pooled our money and we bought it and we got the machine and 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 we used it and it was it was amazing. I found out later that he was the author of that and a number of other things. He sold uh, uh, some of the first electronic calculators and uh, actually the Sharper Image Catalog, I, I don't think Joe would mind me saying this, Sharper Image Catalog was kind of based on ads that Joe was doing, long copy, hard hitting, direct response, classic salesmanship type ads. And a whole industry was born out of that. Not everybody got into it because most advertisers believed what Silicon Valley was doing, which is slogans and bad advertising and, and staying away from direct response stuff. If you want to go to the source of good direct response, you've got to check out Joe Sugarman's books. And if you get a chance to hang with a guy as I have, it's just it, it, it'll freaking change your life because he is so knowledgeable and he, he is a source. He is not just a resource. He is a source of so much of, of what we do today. I put him up in the Pantheon with uh, Jay Abraham, Gary Halbert, uh, and and Joe Sugarman. Those are those are probably the top three. Um, uh, Jay is not uh, speaking very much. Uh, the fact that Joe is putting on a seminar, and I imagine people will get a chance to actually meet him, press the flesh, and actually talk with him. I know he's going to do killer. Uh, presentations because when I saw him in Austin he just blew the roof off the joint so for me this is part of a uh, uh, I'm just taking advantage of what I know is a um, what happened something happened sorry I got some kind of warning signal Are we still on yeah I'm on okay sorry about that uh, you know it's live theater folks you know put live up live feed it's all good well, what was I saying? Uh, uh, every opportunity that I get to hang out with these guys, and I'm, I'm, Joe's a colleague of mine, but I feel so lucky that he's a colleague because uh, I am, you know, I, I, I learned my my chops by by paying attention to what guys like Joe did, and specifically Joe's stuff, like his book triggers and things like that. So for anybody who you know, understands the importance of classic salesmanship, understands the importance of going to the source, not hearing what some other guru who got everything they know from reading stuff like like Joe has put out, who who took what Joe did and then applied it to the web and then decided that they're the they're the gurus in the biz. If if you want to go beyond that, go to the source, go to the the guys 
who really made this happen, who understand it at a visceral sense, who understand it beyond just reading about it and maybe applying it a couple times to the web. Joe lived this for a long time. And of course his blue blocker thing in the 90s just reinvented yet another medium. He had conquered print advertising. Then he went into infomercials, which had been around for a while, but were still relatively new. And he just conquered the, the genre. He created the kind of infomercial that is still being done done today, uh, the, the more successful ones. And, um, you know, it was uh, he's been the right guy at the right time just throughout the decades. And for anybody who's waffling on coming to this, um, I will tell you that the other writers that I know, and I, I have a large group of uh, direct response writers, A-list writers that I hang out with, they just almost wet themselves, you know, thinking about trying trying to get over here and do this because an opportunity to hang out with not just a legend, and this isn't like going to see the Rolling Stones where they do a desultory, you know, uh, satisfaction and, and call it a day and go off stage. This is Joe putting on an event where he's actually going to teach, where he's going to be sharing a lot of this stuff, where he's going to be helping people and you can meet him. So it's not just an appearance and he's not just speaking to someone else's seminar. This is his gig. And, and yours, of course. So it's it's uh, th this is unbelievable to me that 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 this event is even being put on. So kudos to you for taking on the the hard task, as we all know, of putting on a live event. Everybody has an excuse not to go to a live event. All those excuses melt in the face of what you can come away with. If you come away with one new thing that Joe, a source, one of the main guys in direct response advertising, to meet him, to talk with him, to be able to get the inside secrets that he's sharing, if you come away with one thing from this, it has paid for. It will pay for itself multiple times over before the end of the year easily if, if, if you're involved in marketing. If you're getting started, if you're a freelance copywriter, if you're a, a wannabe entrepreneur, or if you're an entrepreneur who's who's hitting rough times uh, uh, because of the economy or because of competition or things like this. These are the guys you go to who conquer this stuff. He eats competition for breakfast. So uh, th this, this is an amazing event. I would highly urge everyone who even has an inkling that they may want to show up, that this is something they may want to do, just stop fussing. Uh, you know, you, know you, you can put everything else off. You can't put this off and redo it again later. Like I said, guys like Joe and I are on our long farewell tours and this is something you really need to jump on now. This is this is an opportunity that isn't isn't going to come up again in, in this particular forum. I hope that Joe continues to speak and even continues to put on seminars, but this is the one right now, the only one planned. He has no, no other stuff planned for the future and this is the time to do it. I, I'm Stunned! I, I can't even imagine somebody giving me an excuse why why they aren't going. I can't even imagine what that excuse would be, other than life and death stuff. Well, I will say it's something that coming from you know I've been in this industry for twelve years. You know, people ask me how did you get all these people together. Well, I'll, I'll honestly say over twelve years of going to events here and there, I met uh, Sugarman at, at an event almost I don't even know seven years ago. I met you, uh -huh. Carlton, at an event uh, six years ago. I met Joe Polish at an event seven or eight years ago. I met John Benson at an event uh, four or five years ago. So all these people that I'm bringing together, you know, in, in tapping on the shoulders and saying, hey, let's do this, uh, they're all people that I met at an event, and then they're all people that are, uh, that just look up to Joe Sugarman that they, you guys all met somewhere probably in an event, you know, years I, ago. I actually met at Joe Polish's office. I met Joe at Joe Polish's office. Uh, Sugarman is pretty funny. Gary Halbert and I came there. But you're absolutely right. Most of the writers who are now colleagues of mine, not just people I know, but people I actively engage with and do things with, we've met at live events. You have to meet at some point live. This is no guarantee that you're going to become best friends with Joe or Joe Polish or any of the other people, but this is how that stuff happens. And the first time you meet somebody is kind of the opener. The second time you start, you know, you, you have another opportunity than the third time, but you got to have that first time. And the people you meet who are in the outer circles uh, are sometimes uh, the people you wind up doing business with. The, the, this is how things happen. Things happen live. You can attend all the teleseminars you want. You can uh, get in, uh, into email correspondence with people. You, you can do all of this virtual stuff in, you know, until the cows come home. It's not going to equal one 
face-to-face -face meeting with people that's where you actually do the human-to-human -human bonding and you get a really good sense of them and this is where things happen and you know of course you know uh, you, you go out to dinner with another attendee and you find out you got you've got uh, a lot of things in common you form another business I see this stuff happen all the time I have personally hosted a couple of dozen seminars at least and been heavily involved with another couple of dozen I'm on the I'm on the inside I'm, I'm behind the scenes I know how these things go on I know how hard they are to put on I know how rare they're going to become with at this firepower level and uh, this is uh, this this is definitely an event that uh, that people should it uh, is a rarity it is a rare event very rare, very rare. I don't think people really realize how rare, how rare event it is that they have this, these kind of people at this kind of caliber of one event where, you know, I, I think about back to an event I went, it's with the saying, a, a, a private kind of a high-end event. This kind of caliber people were at that event and the cost to get to that event I think it was five or six thousand dollars. Just to get in the that room. Was, that was Sang's regular fee was, was, uh, was five grand I believe. Yeah, yeah, five grand just to get in the room. So this is, you know, I think four ninety seven right now, five hundred dollars, six ninety seven. You know, it's 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 unheard of, and the so I I'm just glad you're coming. I'm so glad. So, uh, these guys are, you know, what are you going to talk about? So, you know, what what is something you're going to teach, or you um thought about it at all? I'll kind of put you on the spot. Yes. Yeah, no, you no, you have not. Um, uh, I'm going to leave the modern stuff, the VSL video sales that are stuff to John Benson, who is who is a clearly a master at it. Um, I am more of an old school guy. Now I know that Joe. I, I don't know what Joe is going to talk about, but I know that he a lot of it will be as I call it, source material, the basic stuff. I am going to talk about classic salesmanship, which is something that I know is dear to Joe's heart. And I want to try to fit in, so I'm I'm finding a unique position in there. People have heard me before, heard me talk. I usually get pretty specific about things, about writing the ad, about getting away from, yeah, I want to be an entrepreneur, or I am an entrepreneur, or I am a copywriter. I'm doing this, and 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 it's still vague. It's not specific, and I like to get into the specifics. So there are certain things that I know about becoming a successful entrepreneur that when I tell people, it kind of shocks them. And the working title right now of my talk is. Uh, the uh, you know 15 secrets of becoming a sex a successful entrepreneur you're going to hate me for sharing with you because a lot of this stuff is things that people either don't want to hear uh, they're afraid that it might be true and it's kind of uh, lately when I ca uh, counsel people or consult with people I uh, I do a lot of tough love but it's tough love that works so there's there's going to be a ton of information at this about how to specifically write ads uh, how, how to market, how to do a lot of stuff. This, this is like a one-size-fits-all seminar for anybody in any kind of business, entrepreneur, uh, consultant, uh, freelancer, uh, um, uh, uh, established businessman. I'm sure you're going to get a ton of stuff out of this. I want to focus really on the salesmanship side, which is the part that really gets overlooked so much by so many people out there who claim to know a lot about it. I've got 30 years plus of hardcore front trenches experience in the direct response field uh, predates the web uh, I did quite well on the web and I know a lot about everything that's happening now how it got to this point and why it's there and what what actually works so you know I'm I'm gonna stir things up a little bit so let me ask you one question John sure. so um, there's a lot of internet marketers now they're in their 20s you know they don't even know what the word pre internet is <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what, do, what do you mean before the internet? What, what do you mean before the internet, right? <laughs> I have an iPad in my mouth. Um, yeah, so you know, who, what would you say to them? Like, hey, well, these guys are you know old school or they started out in this particular genre. They're not up to par. Maybe what's really it's happening. It's interesting you bring that up, Heather. Yes, it, it's interesting you bring that because most of the guys, the colleagues that I hang around with, I'd say half of them are guys around my age, older guys who, who have been in marketing for a while and, and were like the grizzled old veterans. The other half, though, the guys that I'm very close to are in their 30s or early, early 40s and some guys in their 20s. It's amazing how many people, how much of the younger crowd kind of caught on to the information available. When I started out, this information wasn't available. Uh, Claude Hopkins was out of print. There, there were no seminars, there were no how-to books on how to be an entrepreneur, there was nothing. I was relying on 30 and 60 year old out-of-print books that I had to find in the library or buy mimeograph copies of because there just wasn't a lot of information. I'd never met a freelance copywriter when I started my career. 
Now, there seems to be an overload of it, but thank God a lot of it keeps getting back to what I call the source material. So the savvy writers, the top writers, the guys who are that other writers hear about or other marketers hear about who are making the huge paydays, who are who are who are getting paid outrageous fees to write, who are their own businesses are thriving. These are the guys that there's no question that they know everything about Joe Sugarman. They followed my stuff. They've read all of the stuff from the 1920s all the way through. They devour this stuff. And it leaks out. And whenever, uh, so so I'm kind of proud of a lot of the younger crowd that gets out there that sees this stuff. For that, for those who don't know that, who are a little naive about this, there's no shame in being naive unless you are aggressively naive, unless you insist that there is nothing new under the sun and you're going to reinvent it. Yeah, good luck. It'll take you about 20 years to get your to even get moving, even get a toehold in the business world. So t this is a shortcut. Look, see what the old guy's done. You can change it yourself. That's what people do all the time. The web is a change from all the previous media. There's no difference between the web and previous me media like television or print advertising. It's still the same human to human contact. You got a human with a need. You got another human being with a product that can fix that need and solve it. And somewhere along the line, they got to come together. And what happened? And what makes you come together and influences you and gets you past all the doubt and the resistance and the sense that you don't want to be taken and is this a bargain? Should I do this? Will my wife hate me? Is my nosy neighbor who wants me to fail every time going to make fun of me if I make a bad deal? You have to get past all of that and the way you do that is with classic salesmanship. It's the same thing that happened when the first caveman traded up to a cave with a view in exchange for a slab of mastodon beef. It hasn't changed. It will never change. It's it's persuasion and it's bonding and it's it's a presentation of the uh, of the offer that you have in a way that positions itself inside the prospect's mind so it's an easy decision to say yes. When you talk about it like that, it seems like it's really easy. I will tell you that if you sit down and you don't have a clue on how to sell something to somebody in a, in the real business environment, you're not gonna you're not gonna figure it out for a very 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 long time. Why do that? Attend an event like this, you're gonna get a shortcut uh, uh, MBA in entrepreneurship just by hanging out with these guys, just by listening to what all these guys have to say. These are the top and the top guys in the biz. It's it's absurd how how you got all these people together in this event. I'm the absurd woman. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy boss, absurd woman. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you so much for your time today. I just wanted to, you know, no get problem, you online Heather. and just have everybody see you, know, like you trust you, and say, hey, look, John Carlton's coming to this event. This is going to be a fabulous event. He doesn't, you know, get out of his cave very often to go all the way out of his cave into to Vegas. So I'm glad you're going to be there. Cynthia Palms, October 25th and 26th. You haven't been to the website yet. It is um, successmagnetseminar.com. John, last words. Uh, no, just uh, if I haven't convinced anybody who wasn't going to go to go, then uh, they are beyond convincing. So uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. You'll hear about it later. So Yeah, exactly. All right. Thank you, John, for your time. And okay. uh, see you guys in Vegas. It's Vegas, baby. Vegas. Bye.